In today's video, I'm going to explain to you why the 2000D is a great entry level photography camera and show you how awesome it really is. And if that sounds interesting to you, I'm Dave from TVR, Cre Cre TVR Creators and I make weekly content on the best cameras for creators and hobbyists and filmmakers alike. If that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like and subscribe. So the 2000D is a fantastic 20 megapixel camera comes with an 18 to 55 mil kit lens and obviously you, as it is a digital SLR you can upgrade the lens at any time depending on the situation or the needs that you need which is really cool about any of these sort of cameras. Now what I like about this it looks professional feels nice in the hand and it just has a nice sort of feel to it. It's really nice if you want something separate from your phone and you want something that just takes really nice photos. And this camera really does that. Now, just to put a bit of um, reference to it, you can get the 4000D, which is basically a slightly cheaper version, which isn't quite as good, but it's just as good for anyone starting out in photography. Or if you want to save yourself some money, why not? You can check out the 1300D, which is a, technically an 18 megapixel camera, but very similar build and there's more or less a very similar camera. Now, this is very easy to use. It has a very intuitive rear screen, which you can play around the settings. It's not touch, but you can play around the settings. And what's really nice about these sort of professional cameras, you can play around with shutter speed and ISO. If you wanna you know, get a nice night vision shot or take pictures of the moon and all that sort of jazz. And what I like about this, these take really nice photos when you're out and about, especially a day like today when the sun's coming in and you get those really nice camera shots, making this camera really, really awesome. Now, what I like about this, it does come with flash, a mount on the top, if you want a big flash, you can obviously use the screen or the viewfinder to take your photo, depending on your preference. I personally, I don't mind the viewfinder, but I come from a background when I tend to use point and shoot uh, camcorders, so I like to use the screen, but it's just down to personal preference. You can hit the play screen, and it just have lots of modes that, to begin with, can be confusing, but don't worry, just stick it into the green auto mode and off you go, making this camera really intuitive. Now, obviously, you can play around with base mode and mounting mode and yes you can film with this camera I personally wouldn't recommend it because it's not really designed for that but yes you can film nice HD footage if you're filming a product or if you're using it for business or if you just want a bit of video to play around with you can film with this but personally I would definitely call these cameras uh, photography cameras entry level and it is really nice to have something separate from your phone making it really nice to take those photos with Feel free to ask your questions below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you're getting value from our content and you've been watching our content, you just like our content in general, why not check out the link in the description or pinned comment and buy us a coffee today and that supports everything we do here on the channel. Now in a moment, I'm gonna leave you two end cards and I'm gonna bring you even more value. Thank you so much for watching and you know what? You guys rock. 